This is a first look at Milwaukee's newest hand tools with the perspective from a professional. Now, there's a lot of people on YouTube that are showcasing these that are not professionals. I worked 10 years the same company as an electrician, commercial, industrial, you name it. I've pretty much done it as well as infrared and now I do inspections, electrical inspections for a living. That's something you're not going to know on my channel unless you were a member or something because I try not to spread that for cloud or whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm not looking for any fame with my profession and getting YouTube clout. I just, I just try to help electricians out. This is my honest opinion of these and I've got some clients. To back up what I'm going to tell you, this is a very critical review of these Milwaukee's. Now, first off, the price was great, 40 bucks. Got the receipt here somewhere, and I'm going to try and do this all in one take. My daughter's going to be filming me on the other side, so bear with me. Here are the facts, okay? When you get a really nice pair of needle nose, these needle nose should last you pretty much a lifetime unless you blow them up. You can see how they close nicely. Almost any brand of hand tool will eventually do this once you break it in. This is the perfect length, nothing shorter. Longer wouldn't hurt, but nothing shorter. And you can see where they kind of finish right there and that rounded part. That's going to come into play here pretty soon because there's a couple of negatives that I don't like where the industry's going. And I don't like that Milwaukee is also following that. Whether it's going to be an industry change across the board. I don't know, I hope Klein doesn't follow it, and I'm really upset to see them on these new USA Milwaukee hand tools because you're gonna see what I'm talking about here in a second. 34, 34, 39, you can see right there. There's your proof. Now, when it comes to size of these hand tools, I really don't have any gripes with this. It feels really good right out of the box. Look, it's already ready to go. Um, the hex kinda, kind of thing in there is different I'll give it that I really haven't played with these too much but they feel really good for 40 bucks the price is right I don't have any complaints with these out of the box they look good they have almost the same amount of real estate um, these are tried and true you it's hard to beat a client it really is uh, we're going to get these out of the box for you guys. Should just be this lever here. And then we're going to get a better comparison. Okay, so we got some gripes here. You can see that hard edge right here. Watch my fingernail. That's a hard piece of steel in there. And that's going to be a rubbing point where you're going to get a failure of your insulation. That's just the way it is. I don't make the rules on the way that wrapping things work that's just that is a failure point okay there's one other failure point in that but before we talk about it I want to look at these and get a good look at them and they do look really good you got just as much cut teeth look nice what kind of teeth do they have these have got the cross hatch What do these have? They got the cross as well. A little bit more aggressive it looks like. Maybe because mine are worn. Okay, that's these. We're gonna talk about the one complaint here last. Sorry to do that to you guys, it's a video. What do you guys expect? Okay, the diagonal cutters feel really good broken in from the factory, whatever you want to call it, USA made. That's a huge plus in my book. Grips are good. Let's get them open. Okay, so they feel good, USA made. Uh, I don't think I have any complaints about these at all. Um, just one. We're gonna get that in a second. They feel good, price is right. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, could these replace your clients? Yeah, they could. They look really good. No rivet on the backside whatsoever. No rivet on the backside whatsoever. Same with these, no rivet on the backside. Nice branding there. 
There's your rivet there. That's the side that you don't want to beat on, of course. You're going to say, well, you're not really using these, so you don't know if they're going to be good or not. You're right, and I don't need to, because you know what is good? These. There's nothing wrong with these. So I'll continue to buy what I know works. Um, but I will try these out, and, and I'll let you guys know, because there could be better out there. These actually do look pretty impressive, the way that they kind of come together there. Um, maybe a good pinch point. I'm not sure if that's really... Ooh. Actually grabs pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm a fan of that pinch point because that's exactly what that is. Uh, not very much to pinch there. Not a fan of things like that, especially if you've got bigger fingers and stuff. You could get some meat stuck in there and I just did a little bit. I don't know why they would do that. I wish they had to put less down here and more going on up here. They look really good. Uh, let's put them over... And keep in mind, these are the Journeyman series, so this is the second tier up, um, minus the 1,000 volt The Klein would offer. You would have the uh, the standard Kleins like this. You'd have the Klein 2000 series, um, or, or the Journeyman series, sorry, the J. And then you would have uh, your 1,000 volt. So these are the entry level of Milwaukee. Um, we're just just trying to get you guys a shape difference. I don't see the profile changing too much from uh, series. They look good. They got a wide open there. Do these have a wide opening? Kind of. It's, it seems like it's more protected. Pretty open, honestly. Very open. Another pinch point for you to get your freaking dick beater stuck in there. Look at this. Um, it just kind of caught me there. You know, you seem like a nitpicking, but until you're like in the field and you're actually pulling on something to get something done, you don't realize how prevalent these pinch points become. Nice hard line there on the grip. I'm not a fan of whatever the heck is going on right there. It's it's square and then it's round. They needed to just round that off. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, this is what's wrong with this whole thing, right? And before I say that, one more thing I'm going to show you. This is their bender. I was just holding it at Home Depot. This is their three-quarter bender, okay? I feel like they really dropped the ball on this because this whole thing stays the same thickness the whole time. And for me, that's a problem. A three-quarter bender is something that's very portable. You can take it anywhere you want to go. You can bend conduit on a ladder. Um, I don't need that extra thickness. You can see where my hand is almost completely used up by the thickness of that bender. It's not as comfortable. The typical electrician style flares out at the end so that you can stick a three-quarter conduit inside this backside and manipulate your bend after you're done the bend. It makes it it's a little bit easier to, to, to do that with um, than having to use your hand or something like that. So starts off thinner, three-quarter profile, and then flares out to a one-inch to go over your seven-eighths um, conduit. No, inch and an eighth, sorry. We've got seven eighths for ha half an inch, inch and an eighth for um, three quarter, and then inch and three eighths for one inch. So this flares out to be the size over a three quarter pipe. Right now, this whole thing is ready. You can stick a whole three quarter pipe in there, and it's unneeded and not appreciated. Just another example of a tool company entering a platform that they have no idea what they're doing. And this is going to be the icing on the cake. This is why they don't know what they're doing. They got a lanyard hole here. Okay, the first thing that gives out on your clients, I can't actually say on your clients, but on your standard, on your standard grips is this part here. And once you start a little hole, it starts to peel away your whole grip. And then they're essentially trash. Once you lose your grips, it's no good. So, we started off with a hole that's already ready for the peeling. I can see right there. You can say that it probably won't peel, but we both know that if it's a hole, it's a weak point. And I don't appreciate it. I don't need a lanyard. I don't need something tethering my hand to something that's possibly electrified. I There's a lot of things I don't need, and this sure as hell is one of them. So I really, really feel like they dropped the ball by jumping on whatever bandwagon they decided to jump on to put these on here. They used input, 
from obviously somebody that hasn't been turning tools for very long and it just shows with their different pinch points ow literally just got myself it it shows with the different <laughs> it shows over there it shows with the different pinch points if you don't believe me this is where it got me look i'll show you i'll exaggerate it a little bit for camera that's how it got me right there so it shows with their pinch points it shows with this stupid stupid square thing here and i'm just not impressed as i thought i was going to be i'm glad they are usa made i hope more people buy these just because they are usa made but i feel like out of the gate they drop the ball really big and they have bulkier tools than they need to people are going to be buying these for their livelihood and it's just unfortunate that they didn't do their diligence and ask actual professionals what do they want to see because i guarantee that hard line right there is something nobody needed the lanyard hole that's questionable i'm not sure what the industry standards are requiring nowadays but not impressed with it you got multiple pinch points you got multiple openings these are your weak points where uh sand grit things like that gets in from the job site into your tools makes them gritty uh not that big of a deal for me but you can just see how nice these are they're nice and tight we can compare the size here i can just see it with my eyes but I do want to make sure I'm not just nitpicking this thing to death, which we are, by the way. Pretty similar. You can see from here to here, it's the same, but it's more open. Like the whole thing is just open there. So I don't know. It's just another pinch point. It really is. It comes to a complete zero when it closes. And these come to a rounded zero and they don't ever actually fully shut. It's a small thing that doesn't matter, and only experienced electricians are able to point these things out to you. Uh, if you're watching all these larger tool channels and think, oh man, these things are great because they do they do climb things and they do they do grab things and twist things. Yeah, all tools can do that. It's how it feels in a master craftsman's hands. And I can tell you right now, I'm going to stick to my clients. You can guys can get whatever you want. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. We also picked up recently these Klein nut setters and they are really awesome we did a short video on it i did not showcase how strong the magnets actually were and they are like stupid strong like really 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 stupid strong so highly recommend those too so thanks for watching i appreciate all the support uh if you're not a member consider being a member we do behind the scenes content and all kinds of stuff often um let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below thanks for watching we'll see you guys on the next one